<clears throat> Julia and Hobo, they make you laugh and they make you cry. They do, don't they? And often in the same performance. Last week's 90 Second Rock Opera was a great example of that. It was big, it was bold, it was exhausting, but all in a very good way. Tonight she takes on another funny lady with a great singing voice, Bette Midler. So will this song fit like a glove or will it just have us in fits? Either way, she'll be laughing. She always does. <laughs> She did a terrific job at everything that I wanted her to do, vocally particularly, she did when she got out there. And uh, I think the hard work paid up for you this week. Wow, that is absolutely wonderful. I had the best time ever. I really oh, visited God. my oh, youth, I... my misspent youth, or probably my well-spent youth, so this was my misspent youth this week. Some say love this week, first up, ballad. We're doing The Rose. It's a simple song with a little bit of height in it. Hmm but very difficult to pull off. You're not singing from your throat, you're singing from your body and your, your ticker in a way. Mm -hmm. I say so hopefully he's gonna show a side and a range within Julia, which and we I'm haven't seen yet. quite shallow, so that's, that'll be where the hard work is. <laughs> it just takes two. It's a tearjerker, but I love it because it was in the movie Napoleon Dynamite. A rose by any other name would sound as sweet as Julia and David. Some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love. that our resident funny lady would have been the queen of the tearjerker. Don't I've been making people cry for years. <laughs> Many years. I can see a bit of moisture in your eyes. Oh, it? darling, on mm. so many levels. Yeah, true. <laughs> Are you a little emotional after that no, performance? A little bit, no. yeah, she was. Do you think? Yeah, you probably know her better than anyone, David. Yeah. What's she really feeling? Uh, well, I mean, I think as a solo performer and comedian, when she's out on the road on her own, she feels that sometimes. So I think this, partic this song has a particular you know, place in I had to heart. travel to the other side of the planet to find a husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the UK where you, you, you smashed it over there on the comedy scene. Back in Australia, you make us laugh till our organs burst. Is it fair to say that you thought you'd done everything until you did this show? I quite literally <laughs> thought I'd done everything. <laughs> until this show. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda. But I'd say a very difficult song to pull up because it's so exposed. So uh, I think she did a very brave thing. A very heartfelt performance. Yeah, Congratulations. Amanda, did you like it? Julia. Yes, well deserved. Julie, I get the vibe that that song's a bit of a favourite of yours, is it? Yeah, I quite like it. I could tell. 
I think one of the things about doing a favourite is sometimes it can bode for you well and sometimes bode not. I think tonight it did very well and it put you right there, right up on a competitive high. I don't think you are going to have to wait until spring to hear a good result from that song. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. Um, look, I thought, I thought that was so brave. That, that opening was fantastic. They're just, you know, the two notes on the piano and just you. And so we were really hearing you. In fact, you sounded at your best then. There was a lovely warmth and all that sort of thing. You could have chosen to done a, do a send-up and be funny. You took it seriously. So I'll give you some serious criticism. It was a bit steely and hard once you were really getting full on. But it was a very good performance. Thank you. Thank you. The big responses at the end of the competition. Great strategic play from Thanks backstage. Travelling. <laughs> we see a lot of her backstage, but I think we just saw a real slice of the real Julia. She often puts that comedic wall up, but I think we saw through it. There were some cracks and the real personality was shining through. And if you like that performance too, SMS Julia to 191977 or by dialing at the end of the show. That was stunning. I still have goose pimples from oh. that. I was just watching every single minute and relishing it, and I'm sure everybody else did. Well, the piano playing was beautiful. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> Sorry, stunning. David, I completely nice. forgot that you were there. Yeah. That was, well, <laughs> that's kind of the idea. It's nice to be able to take a back seat. That ballad is from the movie The Rose, based loosely around Janis Joplin's life. She had a tough life. She what did. experience do you draw from? I know that, David, you mentioned something, but is there something that you, you were thinking about during that song? I was. I... I was also thinking, like, we're, we're a little bit of the lone wolf out here in this competition because everyone else has got a major program behind them and, or a major football team, and we're just a bit <laughs> of <laughs> Robinson Caruso, don't we? Well, I've got a football team. We do, team. and everyone who's um, been voting every week and, and keeping us in are just a pack of champions. Mm -hmm. They Thank sure you. are. Yeah. Well, you say love is a flower, I say love is a perfect ten. Come on, judges. <laughs> Marina Pryor. Eight. James Valentine. Eight. Amanda Pellman. Hard call. It is another eight. And Ross Wilson. Seven. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice work. Don't they say a little bit of manure helps the rose bloom a little bit better? <laughs> <laughs> OK.